For years I've struggled with my mortality, thinking death was the end. But now I have a whole new understanding and realize death is only the beginning. <laughs> the super moon hey guys ed here from paranormal encounters this is episode 98 the uncasville vfw we did this investigation in october of 2013 before we start showing this investigation i'd like to show you some past investigations some little clips that we've gotten from the vfw we've been going there since 2009 had some amazing experiences there's a lot of spirits in this place. This first one I want to play for you is an EVP from the child, Sarah. And um, Alex is saying something about this Barbie doll she's looking at on the third floor. She's saying, she's saying, what is it? looks a little like a mermaid. And then we get a response from Sarah reiterating what Alex had just said. Check it out. A couple years back, we were um, doing an investigation there at the VFW, and I went to go into the third floor. I went to reach for the door, and one of the bartenders said, hey, uh, they forgot to unlock the door. I don't know how you're going to get up there. And I'm like, oh, geez, I was so excited. to." The door popped open, literally, in front of my eyes. We didn't have a camera on it, and I was saying to Chris, one of our investigators at the time, I said, geez, I can't believe we didn't have a camera on when this happened. He pushed his way by me with a uh, recorder in his hand, and as he walked up the steps, he's saying, is anybody up here? And this is Sarah responding to him. Amazing. Is anybody here with us? Is anybody here with us? This voice we captured was from a few years back at the VFW third floor. Um, sounds like the maintenance guy, Eddie, that passed away about five years ago. They've been having all kinds of experiences with him. And you can hear the strong, almost uh, street, New York kind of accent, Bronx kind of accent coming from him as he's screaming up to us, wondering if we're still up there. Check it out. In the banquet room of the BFW, 2009, sometime in the summer, Myself, Chris, and Nick are down in the basement, and we can feel the energy around us, feel the cold around us. I ask, is this Sarah down here? And we get an audible male voice that says, no. All of us heard it. There was no other males in the building. Um, so we set up our infrared cameras and started filming. I asked whoever was down there if they would show themselves to us. Well, after a while, we walked into the next room and we were talking amongst ourselves, not in the main ballroom. And at that point, a ball of light shoots up from the right side of the screen and starts hovering around the ceiling of the building. And I'd also asked earlier if they could block out the light on the ceiling of the exit sign in the corner of the room. This is 15 feet off the ground. And you'll see this short clip, you'll see the ball of light, and as it dissipates, suddenly you'll start seeing the exit light getting blocked out, and you'll see a red streak going away from it. It's an amazing clip. Check it out. Now it's flat. The that thing was up to yellow a minute ago, Chris, and now it's just completely flat. Yeah, I opened the door and shined my light in there, and it dissipated. It just dropped right off to nothing. The second his light went on, it dropped right off, and it was up to yellow. Come on back, please. Nobody upstairs said no, and and I clearly have a no on here. Yeah, I just think and I think you guys said you actually, ears. did you say you actually heard that too, Chris? Yeah, I, I heard it down here. And no. It sounded like it came from over there. Oh, over here. Wow. 
in this little little tiny That's door. That's awesome. So we got some. That's a um, dumb waiter. Yeah. And then oh really? Got a hole to the kitchen. There's a dumb waiter in it. <laughs> There's a dumb waiter in here. Down here because it's nice and cool. Yeah, I know. The best part. I'd love to do another investigation down here in a couple of months. And I'm sure Jane would let us. hair, whitish grayish hair, leather belt. His pants are kind of baggy. It's not even a, it's not a nice kind of jacket. It's, it's just like, it's like a, what he has. Some, yeah, just an old, old, you know, old clothes. He must have. How old would you say this guy is? He's old. He's um, okay. like 70s. Okay, so that's not the, the guy that we're thinking it is. The, there's, there was another guy in the back room I saw. He came right at me. I didn't like that at all. Yeah. How I, old was that guy? Um, 40s? 50s, 40s? Yeah. But then I saw Did you notice his, what his here. face looked like? No, okay. I didn't see his face. But there were, there were two in this room in yeah. the back. One was wearing a cap, like one of those driver's caps. Yeah. They were kind of low to your head. Yeah. Suspenders. Yeah. The one you're describing that came at you, on, I believe you're talking about Jeffrey. He's very, he runs this downstairs. He's in charge of this place. Oh, okay. He, he was smoking. He's, yeah, he's a smoker yes. and he's a drinker. He had his foot up on Vietnam something. He was a Vietnam vet and he was, he's middle-aged. Okay. Sounds like we they, all wear on. they say he had kind of longish hair and a beard and mustache. Okay, I wasn't making out facial yeah, um, stuff. People have seen him in the portal as they walked past the, the up, he stares at him and they've seen his face. Okay. Um. And they thought people, I don't know if you ever heard that story, but the barmaids have thought, you know, somebody was locked down there, so they went to open it, and then nobody was there. Have you seen someone um, young? I saw the, the two I saw, aside from the man she with the dragon She's three cap. men already. Okay. I, four. Four. Four men. Yeah. Aside from the man with the... Ball cap. Yeah, he's kind of heavy um, with the suspenders. There was someone else walking down here. With jeans and a, like a plaid shirt, vest, sideburns. That sounds more like Jesse. Sideburns. sideburns. Um, Jesse and jeans sideburns? and a plaid vest. It sounds more like uh, uh, Eddie. Work me. boots. Jesse. Was he? Yeah, that sounds like Eddie. Jesse never. Oh, that might have been Eddie. Just this guy is probably in his sixties. Um, not too tall, bald head. Died of cancer. He used to be the maintenance man here. He wouldn't really say anything to you, unless he was saying, "Oh, you know, do you?" When I was standing down there, I heard a voice that said, "You can hear us." Or you yeah. you hear us? Yeah. 
Yeah, see, Eddie just kind of like, he's still doing his job, so he'll just kind of come through and say, hey, how you doing, and, you know? Yeah, okay. yeah, she said Jeffrey's probably more aggressive one because I yeah, admire right, yeah, I whoever that guy I was. Had an he's kind here. of a womanizer. He likes um. women with big breasts and um. <laughs> and he, Where are um, mine? Because <laughs> when we had mine. the party down here, I don't, I don't we sent the K2 meter around the tables. I don't know if you saw that part of the video, but I said, you know, Jeffrey, you obviously like one of the women here, so we'll send the K2 around. Set it off when uh, we get to the woman you like, and when it got to this. You know, real voluptuous kind of uh, Italian-looking girl who just started going freaking nuts for like five minutes straight. Because um, that's, yeah. where, that's where I got the growl. Like yeah. When I was just about yeah. to step in there, it was like a growl. Yeah. In the bathroom? Yeah. Oh. And it, I, it it scared me, and I jumped back. Also, I, I believe it's like two. Plasma. There was two women down here. On video. I don't know if they're still here or not, but <clears throat> one that believes she's Jeffrey's girlfriend. Oh. But he doesn't admit to that being his girlfriend. Okay. And there's another one that was back here the last time our two sensitives came in, and she was really confused. I got an EVP saying I lost my glasses, and that's what the girls told me before I even heard the EVP. She's on the ground. She can't find her glasses. They think she just passed, and she wound up here, and she's really confused, you hmm. know? So I don't know if you think she might have found her way out. I don't know. Blonde hair? I don't know. Nobody knows exactly who she is. We just know she newly came to this place last year when we were here. Yeah. So there's there's a, quite a crew down here. Yeah, there's a sheep. A place down here that um, he said that Ed, I guess, liked to go to, and I. Yeah. I felt. I think the women of, like tend to. He didn't like stay to go. That's, well, that's the kitchen down there. I mean, like, oh, there's a kitchen in yeah, there. Yeah, there's a kitchen <clears throat> down. Here. Maybe you like to go down and eat. Yeah. You need you, need, you want to go in the kitchen. <laughs> We're going to turn the lights down. There's so, a kitchen, so there's a dumbwaiter. A lot of times when it's real kitchen. bright, they won't come out as much. So okay. they'll feel, they feel more comfortable when their lights are so If you want to try the kitchen, let me know. Go get the keys. Okay. <coughs> Is this my yeah, that chair is Marsha. So everybody just do your own thing and stick with somebody, you know? Roger that. I'll tell you one thing. I'm getting freaking chills in. I know it's cold down here, but... Like it's freaking cold. Where's the, the H? It's like cold, I think. Yeah, all the stories I've heard. It's cold in here, must be a ghost. Depends. Sometimes he fueled up like. He's thrown a lot of things in here, too. Go ahead. No, Jeffrey. Who's Jeffrey? Oh, Jeffrey's the kid that died upstairs or something. He died in you know, either a car or a motorcycle wreck. But he was he used to drink here back in the eighties or something like that. Maybe eighties or something. So I don't know. Did he wear a leather jacket? Uh, okay. So then, when all all you have to do is going off in here. Did he wear a leather jacket? Somebody is in here that's wearing a leather jacket. Yeah, no, that was that was definitely something that was off. Because it's dead now. Big beard. Yeah, somebody was saying, I probably that old guy was in that Well, I don't know if you heard about the Cub Scout that went up and said, could you tell that old, that man to stop coming in the bathroom and bugging me when he was at the Cub Scout meeting? And they're like, well, the guy with the long hair and the beard, they went down and they couldn't find him, you know? Yeah, turned out there wasn't any guy here. Wow. And we think that was Jeffrey. Some people are sensitive to it, I guess. Yeah. Well, especially all you people must be. I'm not. Jesse, if you are here, could you confirm that somehow? Who's here right now? Is this Marsha pretty close? I think she's described four men so far, so it's got to be Ed. 
there was an older gentleman, I got a name, but I can't remember, is it George? George or something like that. Ed Marcia sees somebody. Okay. There's someone right here. Male? Male. I, I did, before this one, there was a man in a dark leather jacket with a big heavy beard. That could be. That's probably, uh, that's probably, um. Th this person came in though with, with a light. There was like these sparkles of light before. It was really neat. If it's um, Jeffrey, he's really a powerful spirit. He, um, he's shown himself as an apparition to us. He's blocked out lights for us. He turns these lights on and off down here. He, um, mm. yeah, he's done a, a he throws stuff across the room. I mean, Nick was um, giving him crap, calling him a chicken one night because he wanted him to do something. He threw a hard candy across the room and almost hit Nick in the head with it. I mean, it shot about 20 is, feet is across he, the room. Does he have anger issues? Yeah, yeah. He's, sometimes he's happy with me, like I brought up all those girls down there and he was happy with me, except his girlfriend wasn't. But, um, yeah, um, but he does have, you know, sometimes he gets pissed off. There's someone that, else here, too. There's that would be him, because Eddie's not very confrontational. But there's someone else here. They're, they're all in tan. They're all that, in tan that, is that Eddie? Clothes. Did Ed, do you remember Eddie? Oh, he's a good friend of mine. Did he wear um, khakis when he worked? Khakis? You know, like a work outfit? <laughs> no, he's usually dressed like my, I'm, I went to a dinner tonight, but I'm usually in a flannel shirt and jeans and, and boots, and that's, that's, that was Eddie all over. Yeah, yeah. He didn't like to dress up anymore than I do. Yeah, yeah. So you saw Eddie okay. earlier. Okay. Do you mind being on camera? Yeah. No, I mean, Okay. I just want to document too. I've got a little bug that keeps going. Yes, in front of the yeah, I was going to say that too. Yeah, you don't want to take my dick aside. Or <laughs> So did anybody have a chance to confirm whether Jesse's here or not? I didn't see anything. No, I'm talking to them. Um, Jesse, you still get to watch uh, the new episodes of The Walking Dead? I wasn't a fan when uh, you were around here, but now I'm, I'm sucked in. You helped suck me into it. I don't know if uh, that's any indication, but I just got bitter cold. I mean, it felt like something just went whoosh. Really? Yeah. That could be confirmed. Jesse is here. Who knows? Come on, Jess. Get that, you that's what everybody wants to know, Jess. If you are here, I figure you might have stuck around to wait for your wife until she passes, because I know you guys were very much in love. Someone keeps hovering for me. Do you feel what presence here? I, I they're just Jeffrey. Really close behind me. And Jeffrey is the, well, I believe, the first one that started staying down here from the early 80s. So it's very possible he might have, um, he might be, he always follows the sensitives around for some reason. So it's probably Jeffrey. And the women kind of, I think there's, somebody said there was an older woman too. There might be as many as three women down here. I'm not positive. They I'm come not, and I'm go. I'm not feeling any women down here right now. They might be, they might be. Mm -hmm hiding over there. A lot of times they stay over there. There's an uh, older guy, I think his name is George. He's like in his 70s, a little plump, and him and the women seem to stay in that other section there for some reason. So what we do is sometimes we'll put the girls over there and the guys will stay here, and then the women will come out. I think um, Eddie kind of just too close pushes them back. <laughs> Eddie, could you back off, buddy, please? I know it's your area and all, but Marsha's not feeling comfortable. Eddie, am I doing a good job taking care of this place like you did? Oh, I called him Eddie instead of Jeffrey. Jeffrey, I'm that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's not your fault. My fault. Did you just say, what did you just say, Dan? Do you guys have any faith in Ouija boards? No. 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 Okay, it's just a game. Huh? You don't want to mess with those. <laughs> Is it good because they're too scary? <laughs> no, they can, they can. I think, I personally, my opinion is I think that they can open kind of a bag of worms that you just can't all close. The, all the horror movies I've seen, yeah. it never turns out good. No. Jeff, are you mad because we're down here? Oh, 
someone over here that's really, really tall. Stay down. Here, there's some music still out. Oh. Way to play, huh? Mm. His meter is totally off all the way. Is that because? It's always red. Yeah, no. And then it's dead. Oh. Well, he has a good fuel source right behind you, Chris, with that uh, bell hop. That bell uh, Yeah, it just went dead. I mean, it was going crazy. Here, After I opened this. See what you get in the back. There's, That's there's gotta be Jeff. Jeff, I think, the one first to set that thing off. Yeah? Nothing. Really? Time it just goes like it's following me or something. Yeah. That's very powerful. It could just be messing with you. Yeah, I've known Jeffrey so long. I, he doesn't really mess with me that much anymore. He did for a while, but yeah. he's been a lot kinder to me the last couple of years. You know, he knows I respect him, and I, I don't think he, you know, he pretty much does what he wants to do. You know, nobody tells him anything different. They listen to him down here. You know, yeah. he's a prominent voice down. What are you feeling, Josh? Um, I don't know. Right now, I'm not getting much of anything. Yeah, we'll go upstairs. Yeah, we'll go upstairs. And then the upstairs has a totally different dynamic. Yeah. Another crazy. It's hard to believe. Well, because this is a separate building. Okay. This, this was, I believe, 
they just put the Victorian right on the side of this building. You know? Yeah, they brought this over from another area of Montville and plopped it to the Victorian down here and then built this around it, you know. Okay. Yeah, it used to be on the corner where Wonder Bread is. All right. So the spirits upstairs, Captain Fisk and um, Sarah and uh, I can't remember the third kid's name. There's three of them up there. Um, it's got the same name and whoever the proprietor's name is out front. What's his name? You know the sign that says... Uh, Permitty or provide? Right on the corner there, there's like a little white sign that says uh, Permitty somebody. Permitty is a uh, first name. I can't think of his name. I think she wants to go upstairs. I took over his job. Leon. Leon Moore. Oh, it's not Leon. She, well, she wants to go upstairs? I haven't quite really given this place enough. Yeah. I'll check out the kitchen. Yeah. We'll go upstairs in a little while. Are you talking about the third floor? Um, actually, you know, it would be really neat if everyone left the pool room. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. There's, there's a lot of... Sure, I'm in the kitchen. i got to go out to my truck. I'll get the keys. That's all right. Yeah, our energy is probably not helping everybody. Maybe in place. Okay. That's Chris's. No, yours is over there. Oh. Because mine had this thing on it. <laughs> mine had a thing on it. Oh, yours had a thing on it? Yeah. yeah. I didn't have yours. Did I drink yours or did you drink mine? So many drinks on this. Mine's acting. Mine is skimmed, no sugar. It's got sugar. That's yours. Good for you. I wouldn't know. There was a feeling of fear in here. Anything right around where yeah. you are right now? Once you walk through it, it, it you, yeah, there was just this quick little image of a woman just yeah. doing this to her so hair in the mirror. Was, yeah, that's the lady who can't find her glasses. <laughs> Is she? she? So there was some reason that I walked in here and I felt a lot of fear. I don't know this what happened. Woman, I don't know how she passed. Okay. I don't know how there she passed. There was a feeling of was, fear. Yeah. But once you get like over here, it abates somewhat. It's less. Um, she's broadcasting it like right coming in. You know what I mean? But last stall is where there's sound in it. I'm thinking. Smoke. Yeah, right here. Oh, maybe Someone somebody's right outside. He's yeah, right there. Okay. Um, yeah, so okay. Jesse oh, okay. dressed, okay. dressed pretty good. You know? oh. Eddie and I dressed alike for both. For like <laughs> you know, whenever yeah. I smell cigarette smoke, I know it's a dear friend in spirit who's passed. Um, he died of cancer, and he was a smoker. 
Okay. And um, oh, I just loved him so much. So when I um, smelled it, it's the cigarette smoke, I know it's him. Yeah. felt about in there. Like, um, I should only get so far. And then I didn't want to go any further. I have a few places I'd like you to go. You don't mind if I take him, do you, Ed? You could start in that room. Are you feeling anything in here? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? He sits there, but he's not giving me crap. Yeah. That doorway right there. You go first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody, I'm not going to go any further than where Marsha is. Somebody died in there and it was very, very painful. Yeah, my friend died all of a sudden. Like, it feels like somebody like, drove nails in into my thymus. Somebody, yeah, I was feeling somebody, there was pain, there was some, yeah. some kind of death in here, an experience oh, no. that yeah, was... No guarantee. Um. I, I'm seeing 
think somebody also with white all around their head. Marsha um, didn't want to go into it either. Yeah. There was a bunch of crutches in the corner. Yeah, too. they're, they're yeah. all over up here. They've yeah. got like walkers, crutches, wheelchairs. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I got a sense of dread when you open that door. <laughs> going up there. Okay. I can put my big girl panties on. <sighs> okay. What's the little door here? I don't know. It's a crawl space. Okay. Oh. Watch out. The stairs are creaky. You might not want to come up here. Where's the fun in that? So. Yeah, no, I'm not liking this. What do you feel up there? I feel very, very dizzy. Yeah. Well, this is someone's like... Safe space? crap out of myself Why? oh because I walked this way and then like I turned around and I hit this with my arm I'm gonna open that door no, no wait that's a closet it's okay you can it's open it from that side. <laughs> We got Sarah. We just got to introduce. There goes the guest. Yeah, yeah. I just introduced uh, Sarah to Pamela and it went to red. Yeah. I was getting some stuff. I got a spike. I was asking Yeah, 
you want me to go first, ma'am? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's one stair that's a little creepy. Be careful with that. You want to go ahead of me? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Guys, we're putting our audio recorder right there, so we want you guys to uh, to talk to us, obviously. Is this your room? I know you lived here one time. Sir, do you remember Chris McKay? Remember when he came in here? What was that? Tell me you didn't hear that. Didn't hear it. You didn't hear that? No. Yeah. A little girl to say yeah. No. Somebody was touching me before. God, I feel like a balloon, little crazy. Balloon spider going. Huh? <laughs> Balloon in the closet. Remember the balloon in the closet? Yeah, probably deflated by now. Say it was a balloon. Someone just touched your forehead. I could feel someone touching my head. Um, wow. Just a couple minutes ago, right after you said that, that you heard a voice. Yeah, Sarah's very touchy. Touchy feeling. How old is Sarah? I think I said five. 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 Yeah, she told me she was five. Third guy down up here. I can't think of his first name. Keep wanting to say Nolan, but it's not. Roland. Roland, that's Roland. his name. That Roland, good. right. Yes. You got it. Roland, how you doing, buddy? Roland's got a very twisted sexual sense of humor. Really? Yeah. When, I, when we were down in the basement, I could. There was somebody. Um, I heard a voice that said, you, uh, oh, I can't remember, what did they say? Um, you need to laugh more, hmm. or you, you should laugh. Hmm. No one says perverted things, so. Um. All right. Is Chris okay? Chris is right, Chris is right here. What was that? Next oh. room. Crap. Oh, We're all here. Yeah. I think it was downstairs. I don't know. I don't know. It kind of sounded let's like look, it was Let's weird. look down the steps and see if anybody's coming. It sounded like some kind of grate. Yeah, it was like a metal like metal shelving grate. thing. Let's see if we can... Hello? Somebody downstairs? What's in that room, Chris? That sounds like a child. 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 Yes, I've heard that. Uh, walking. Yes. I heard walking. Sarah, is that you? That was yes. definitely a child's voice. Yeah, that was definitely wow. a child's voice. Oh my voice. god, I got chills. I mean, too. Holy shit, did you guys hear that? Oh, yes. yeah. Yes. 
Oh, I said, somebody here? Yeah. Yes. yes. Because, yeah. because when you were standing in there before that noise, it sounded, I heard somebody, it sounded like somebody was coming up. Right. I thought, I thought wow. it was Jim. Hey, turn off the camera right now so we can check that. She just said it again. Wait, what's that? That was something outside. That was yeah. brakes. Yeah. I think like old squeaky brakes. Wow. <laughs> before it wasn't though. No. Right. Yeah. <laughs> No, that wow. That, that blew my freaking mind. That was intense. Somebody was giving a sign. Hey, Josh. <laughs> we should go to try to find out what <laughs> was rattled. Yeah. It definitely yeah. Sounded yeah. Like you know what it sounded like? It sounded like a... Like a metal, like a grate. Uh, the racks. Like an oven grate? It sounded like somebody went the racks, yeah. yeah. And like I ran could, her hand across the bottom. I could have sworn it was like up here over here, but right. I don't see it anything in, in, in here. In here. I don't see anything like metal that would make that noise. What? Oh! I heard it. What is it? But nobody was on those steps to do that. Be careful. Here it is, right here. That's exactly great. Yeah, get that on its own. It's an oven grate, just like you said it was. Ah. Okay. That's it. Right here. It was definitely that. That wasn't what no. we were looking for, though. That's something. Um, Crazy in a good way. <laughs> no one's up here. Is that the chair? Yeah, it is. Squeaking like that? Yeah, that chair. What? They're, the, the guy's in there. Oh. <laughs> did he hit this then? Yeah, did you bump the grate? Excuse me. No, yeah, I bumped into the way up here. Damn it. Oh my God. Never mind, Ed. Debunked. Oh, was it debunked? Yep. Debunked that guy from before. How about the voice? Um, I don't know. We know this. The, it could have been the chair squeaking. Somebody down there? Yep. No, the girl's voice. Yes, yes. definitely that heard that. Yeah. Up there? No, not really. Things are moved around. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to clean it up a little bit. Got rid of all the metal. It's spooky up here, though. Yeah, where's the stairs to come down? <laughs> I was like, yeah, it was perfect timing. It was great. I love it. Spooky here, like, yeah, where's the stairs to come down? <laughs> Oh, she's adorable. She's awesome. Thanks, guys. All of a sudden, I turn around, it's pitch black up there. My I'm bad, my nice. bad. Sorry. <laughs> now, what did somebody come down here? Uh, Jim. Yeah, he. Jim was uh, up here. He was sitting in the chair. What did he do? Bump oh. He bumped yeah, it on his way I, by. Now, did you make a high pitched noise? I got. Oh. Yeah, there's me squeaking the chair. Yeah, oh, the okay. Chair. And what about that? You knocked something over that made that like yes, right uh, right here. metal sound. I, I, okay, I kicked this when I came up. Okay, so that's all the I came up completely in the dark. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm being stupid to find. I was yelling I was down here, going, "Who's down here?" Nobody was saying a word. I was squeaking a chair just for shits and giggles to see if you guys would hear it. <laughs> oh, oh, that was nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go over the audio and the video there. Yeah, I think it yeah. was the same thing. <clears throat> I don't know. But this like is... when you first sit down, like maybe. Because it was right after I said, "Is somebody oh, she, down?" She went downstairs oh, to pee. Oh. 
Is that the chair? Yeah. yeah. That was the chair. So if if you don't go like a full length, I think, you, you know what I mean? It's like like that. God, it sounded like it was right where the steps were. That's go over. I say go over the audio They're because right because the I corner. was like it's. It did sound when like I started it. walking down the steps. It sounded like it was freaking right there, like in the door in the stepway there. Let me hold on a second. Let me go up there again. It's on. It's so dark. Can you fall down, baby? He's no. calling me. He's resilient. What was that? Do you want me to go up there with you? My phone? No, no, I got it. I'll follow him, see what it sounds like this time. Should I? Well, no, I was still with Ange. Oh. The camera could just have the light. Well, I wanted to kind of film yeah, this how so that. I got up there. Oh, down the hallway. Door. On your, on I think your Chris has a flashlight. Right there, right on the right. Here? Yep. Yeah. 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 Not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> first time I've heard that from Ed. <laughs> Josh, put the hat on. No. Oh, God, no. Josh, you want to afraid that come home with it? Yeah, no, I'm not afraid of that. You're afraid it would come home with you, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. Damn it. Yeah. And then when I'm yelling to him, he didn't say a fucking word. It's not the first case I've had people try to pull that crap on me. You know? Try to. Oh. I said, ha ha ha. Oh. I am so amused. That's all right. No biggie. Yep. Yeah, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Hey, Marsha got. Where is Marsha? I she met Sarah. Sarah. To use the baby yeah, baby. I know. I met Sarah. Huh? She went to use oh. the ladies' room. Huh. She's probably down there looking at the ghosts in the bar. <laughs> She's down there having a drink. Buying a beer. She saw one. <laughs> Did you just say what I thought? Buying him a drink? <laughs> no, she's down there having a drink. Oh, yeah. Throwing down a couple shots. <laughs> Boy, the sensitive stuff is hard. <laughs> <laughs> I know she didn't like this room. Marsha. Yeah. yeah. Negative body. She doesn't like coming in this room. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. If she was a big dish, she'd be able to get her There's another yeah. little door. There's like little doors everywhere. Yeah, there's a lot of little storage in there. Well, back in the day when they built houses, I mean, they, they put little yeah, storage things everywhere. Yeah, a lot of built-ins. Mm -hmm. Just store your leprechauns. Well, yeah, or your, yeah, you know, your, your special needs program. That guy was the one that did everything. Yes. He thought he was us. I can't believe it. It really makes me angry because he... I didn't say a word because I know how he is going to get it was just so ironic that it happened right after I said, is somebody down here? Yeah. I'm glad I came down. Sorry, no biggie. Huh? We laugh about that one. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to. I can't believe you even came up. Yeah, we'll put that, I'll put that as part of the show. Humiliate him. You're awesome, Ed. In a, <laughs> in a blooper section. Yes. This is what happens yes, when like, somebody that doesn't understand the paranormal yes. decides to try to fake a team out. Well, that happened to Ghost Hunters once years ago. I they remember that with the bedspread yeah. in that hotel. There, twice, I guess, then. Yeah, with the bedspread, somebody hid under the bed. And when they came in, the when they put the infrareds up, they pulled the sheets off the bed to make it look like a spirit, pulled the sheets down. And they caught the person. And yeah, and there was and there was another one where they um, where the guys like, oh, that door doesn't open, and that door's never open, and they actually caught someone like on camera later that day, just walking right through. <laughs> so. Yeah, and one time they uh, they got a guy at some restaurant that had an actual face behind a mirror. Yeah, and, and he had a little recorder thing. Like, the, uh, yeah. yeah. People think people are that idiotic. People are stupid. They throw the fuck up. Well, I got to see Sarah, uh, meet Sarah, that's all I'm Yeah, yeah, here. I came, I came out. Your home and talk to her I came out of here with something. Yeah. <laughs> She's been dying to meet you, Sarah. Sarah, how old are you? Are you five? Do you 
only like to stay upstairs, Sarah. Is that why you're not talking to me now? Oh no, I saw Sarah in the room next door. Yeah, she stays upstairs. She didn't go. I saw Captain her over Fist there. won't let her go downstairs. No, I saw her over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We should do EVPs in that room where you felt your legs. Yeah. The bad room. The death room. The room what? that I really don't want to go into, but I will go into. Which what? one? The one over the there. Okay. In the back around the corner here? Yeah. Close this door. You go. <laughs> I don't like. Yeah, I don't like going in that room. Like I haven't found that room yet because it makes me uncomfortable. Really? Yeah. Like right here, I'm comfortable. He follows us around. You got what? Oh God, he's sitting in the wheelchair. Oh really? Okay. Didn't Marcia, Marcia didn't like it. Marcia didn't like it. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, please. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ed. A oh. hundred years from now. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be up a hundred years. Oh, God. <laughs> Here. Do you feel a presence here? Thank <laughs> you.